I'm in the middle of a bunch of stuff that we've recovered from this file. Uh, it's an amazing variety of stolen items worth hundreds of thousands of dollars. We've got a large five ton flat deck truck, uh, a trailer with an excavator and compactor, more than $40,000 here alone, and then a tractor that was stolen back in 2004 that we've recovered, also very valuable. Behind me is a truck that was seized as a fence-related property at the time of the initial arrest. A Cornell man was driving this vehicle. Inside was about two kilograms of cocaine. Also seized at the time of the arrest was a silver Volkswagen Jetta. Inside was a large sum of cash. We've got just a sample of the exhibits that have been taken in this file. Over here we've got 12 firearms, seven of them long guns, body armor, thousands of rounds of ammunition, two tasers, two kilograms of cocaine, and roughly $250,000 cash. These are the 12 firearms that we have seized for this file. Among them are several prohibited and restricted weapons. Two of these long guns are stolen. Uh, these handguns over here, four of them are actually prohibited. On top, on top of that, you've got these cartridges, these magazines. They can take far more than the legally allowed limit of ammunition. What we see here is the cocaine and the cash that was seized at the time of the arrest on April 12th. Two kilograms of packaged cocaine, and this stack in front of me is roughly $92,000 cash. This looks like what may be an ordinary garage door opener. It's about the same size as a cell phone. It's absolutely not that. Okay. In front of me is roughly $250,000 cash. It's the cash that has been seized by police during the course of this investigation. Lives have been ruined by this dirty money. Proceeds of Crime Section is now investigating this amount of cash.